Hello guys, this is Dapsin Ishmael. Today let's take a look at using responsive test in object properties as well as using responsive test in the style manager. So to get started, let me first start by getting a test over here. So let me bring my test object here and I would expand this a little bit. So let me expand to about this particular width. Double click on it and populate it with um, Lauren Epsom. So I'm going to select about, um, let's say, five paragraphs. So this is my five paragraph test and I'm going to break this test. Uh, okay, let me just maintain this and then move this a little bit to the bottom. I'll go ahead and bring another test in here. So I'm going to inc um, increase the size of my test here. Let me just populate this with about one paragraph. Let me expand this also. I'm going to get rid of some of the test in my paragraph. So I'll get rid of the other test and I'm going to highlight on this test and I'm going to increase the size to about, um, let's say, um, 16 pixels. So this is 16 pixels. I'll, um, let me just change this to 16. So 16 pixels, I'll go ahead and hit on enter. Let me just um, change the size of some of the tests I have in here. But before then, let me just get rid of some of the tests in here. So let me get rid of this test and I'm going to change the size of this one to about 14 pixels. So let me highlight all and change the size of it to 14 pixels. So I'll go ahead and hit on enter. Let me move this a little bit to the bottom. I'll go ahead and bring one more test here. So I'll copy and paste this one here and I'm going to get rid of, or get rid of some of the tests I have in here. So let me get rid of this and I'm going to change the size of this to about 26 pixels. So I'll go ahead and hit on enter. Now to show you the property I mean by selecting um, that is responsive test in the um, object properties, you'd simply have to right click on the test over here and um, locate object properties. So go to object properties and if you look under advanced, you see the enable responsive font over here. So all you need to do is to just check this box, go ahead and click on OK. Right click on this test, go ahead and repeat the process for it. So object properties and I'll go ahead and enable responsive font. I'll go ahead and repeat it one more time for this one. So object properties and I'll go ahead and um, enable responsive font. Now this is how this um, feature or this property works. So let's go ahead and create our breakpoint. So I'll go to my breakpoint manager and I'll create my breakpoint for 320 pixels um, for 480 pixels. I'll go ahead and create for 768 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK and click on OK. Now I'm going to go ahead to preview this in my browser. So let me hit on F5 and um, let's wait as a preview. So I'll go ahead and move my browser in here. And as you can see, this is the 26 pixels font and this is the 16 and I think this is the 14 pixels font. So let's go ahead and minimize this in a browser and um, let's take a look at what we can do in our breakpoint. So let's switch to our 768 pixels breakpoint. Let me first start by resizing this image I have in here. I'll go ahead and reposition this, um, make this horizontal. Now I'll move this a little bit to the top and uh, reduce the width of it. So what I can do now is just to double click on this test. Now go ahead and reduce the size of this to about, um, let's see, um, 16 pixels. Okay, let me just make this 18 pixels. I'll go ahead and hit on enter. Now I'm going to change the size of this test I have in here. Let me just reduce the width first. Now I'll go ahead and change the size of this to 14 pixels. I'll go ahead and change this one to 12 pixels. So I'll go ahead and um, reduce the width of it. I'll highlight all and I'm going to change this to 12 pixels. I'll hit on enter. Now let me switch to 480 pixels breakpoint. I'll first start by reducing the size of my image here. So I'll make sure it is positioned in the center of the page as well. Now I'll move this a little bit to this section. Reduce um, the width of it. Double click on it and change this to about 14 pixels. So I'll go ahead and change this to 14 pixels. I'm going to change this to 12 pixels. So let me highlight this and change this to 12 pixels. I'll go ahead and reduce the width of this test I have in here. I'm going to go ahead and change this to 10 pixels. So let me change this to, um, okay, let me just make this 11 pixels. And um, let me go ahead and reduce the width of this test I have in here. So let me just use the width here. Now I'll go ahead and switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. So let me switch to 320 pixels. I'll first start by reducing the size of uh, this image I have in here. So let me just reduce the size once more and make sure it is positioned in the center of the page. Now let me go ahead and move this test here. I'll double click on it and I'm going to change the size of this to 12 pixels. I'll hit on enter. 
I'm going to reduce um, the width of this test here. I'll move this to this particular position and I'll double click on it and change the size of this to 11 pixels. So I'll go ahead and reduce the width as well. I'll now move this test here. I'm going to double click on it and change the size of it to 10 pixels. So I'll go ahead and hit on enter and I'm going to reduce the size of the width I have in here. So now let's go ahead and preview this in our browser. But before then, let me just go to um, page properties and um, under page alignment, I'm going to change this to center horizontally. So I'll go ahead and click on OK and I'll hit on the F5 key to preview my page. So here we go. This is our page. Now let me switch to the responsive um, view of, in my browser. So I'll go ahead and change to responsive view. And as you can see, this is the 320 pixels breakpoint. We have our font sizes over here. If I go ahead and expand the size of this, as you can see, the test what we have here is beginning to become responsive, which is changing um, the size of the test or changing the size of the font depending on the breakpoint that you are on. So this is the 768 pixels. Now, when we switch to the default, that's the 970 pixels. You can see the, um, the actual sizes of the font we have in here. So this is for using responsive test and um, that is um, object property. Let's go ahead and use responsive test and our uh, style manager. So I'll first go ahead and get rid of the test I have in here. So I'll delete this test. Let me just um, go ahead and clear off my breakpoints just to make sure everything is out. So I'll go ahead and um, remove all my breakpoints. I'll go ahead and remove this, remove this and um, remove this as well. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to maintain my image in here. Now to locate um, our um, style manager you go to tools and under um, that is site tools you identify your style manager over here so let's click on style manager and um, we have a couple of styles over here we are going to go ahead to create our own style so let's go ahead and um, click on add so when you click on add there are a couple of options we have in here that's a whole lot of tools or a lot of properties you can apply to your font or objects and your um, project so we are going to take a look at a couple of them when you look at the general, um, under general, we have custom styles. So under custom styles, if you intend using Google Web Fonts or any web font in your project, this is where you are going to paste in your custom styles. To show you what I mean, let me just open my browser and um, navigate to Google Web Fonts. So I'm going to use, um, that is a Roboto um, font type in my project. So I'm just going to add this and I'll go ahead and um, open what I have added here. I'm going to copy this code over here. So. Let me just um, right click on this code, go to copy now. Let me open my project. Let me just close this for now. I'll close this one. I'll come to um, another page. On a page, I'm going to navigate to site HTML. So let me just um, go to that is between the head tags and paste in my code over here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll now come back to my browser. I'm going to copy the CSS um, code. So I'm just going to highlight on this code and um, right click on it and select copy. I'll now come back to my project. This time around, I'm going to go to Tools, and under Tools, I'm going to Style Manager. So this is where I'm going to create my style. So um, this is uh, my style. Let me just give this, um, let's see, Roboto, Roboto underscore 26. And um, let me just add the color of the font to it. So enough. that is um, Roboto underscore 26 underscore black. So I'm going to paste in my custom style over here. I'm just going to switch um, or navigate to the font section. I'm going to change the size of the font to 26 pixels. So let me select 26 pixels and I'm going to change um, the color of the font to that is black. So I'll go ahead and click on black. But if you take a good look at the top section at your right hand side of the top section, you can see breakpoints over here. So when you click on the drop down arrow, we have add breakpoints, we have manage breakpoints. So I'm going to go ahead and add my breakpoint. So I'm going to add for 320 pixels. I'm going to add for 480 pixels. And I'm going to add for 768 pixels. So these are my breakpoints I'm going to use for my test. So I'm starting with the 320 pixels. As you can see, um, we have um, a whole lot of tools we are exposed to. That is, even with the 320 pixels on its own, we can change the font family. We can change the font type. We can change the size of the font. We can change the color and so many things we can do that is limited to only the 320 pixels. To show you what I mean, let me come back to my Google Web font and I'm going to select a different font um, that is for the 320 pixels. So let me just take this off and um, take it off my selection. I'm going to select this. 
So let me select um, Bungie Inline. I'm going to add this to my um, website project. So let me just copy this code. I'll come back to my project and um, let me just um, click on OK for now. Click on OK. Navigate to page under site HTML. Under the head tags, so I'm going to paste it in here. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll come back to my um, Google Web font. I'm going to copy this code. And this time around, I'm coming, I'll come back to my Wizard Web Builder project. I'll come to Tools under Style Manager. I'm going to my font I created over here. So that is my style I created over here. I'll click on Edit and I'll switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. Now I'm going to change this to um, the customs that that is a custom CSS um, style I copied for my font that is the G font over here. And I'm going to change the size of this to about um, let's say 14 pixels. Now I'm going to change the 480 pixels breakpoint. Um, and the font size over here is going to be, um, let me just make this 15 pixels and change the color to uh, about red. Let me switch to my 768 pixels and I'm going to change the font size over here to about, um, let's make this 20 pixels and change the color to, um, let's say this orange we have in here. Now let me come back to my 320 pixels and change the color of my um, font over here. So I'm going to change this to, um, let me just look for this forest green. I'll go ahead and click on OK. I'll go ahead and click on OK again. And I'll come to my toolbox under the standard. I'm going to select my test over here. So I'm going to populate this with, um, that's one paragraph. Let me just select 10 words from the Lorem Epsom. I'm going to highlight my test over here. Now under styles, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow. Um, scroll to the bottom and I'll select my font over here. So now let me go ahead and create my breakpoint. So coming to the breakpoint manager, I'm going to create for 320 pixels. I'm going to create for 480 pixels and I'm going to create for 768 pixels as well. So let me go ahead and click on um, create for 768 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now let me switch to my 768 pixels and uh, let me just reposition this, resize it as well. And, uh, make sure it is positioned in the center of the page. And as you can even see, because we switched to 768 pixels, we have different set of style applied to our font over here. So now let me reduce the size of this as well. Now let me switch to um, 480 pixels. Let me reduce the size of my image in here. And let me go ahead and reduce the width of my test in here as well. I'll now switch to my um, 320 pixels. I'm going to reduce the size of the image I have in here. And I'm going to reduce the width of my test I have in here as well. So I'll go ahead and hit on my F5 key and preview this page. So let me just hit on F5. And um, as you can see, this is our page. This is the default um, page. Now let me switch to my responsive mode. So this is my responsive mode. I'm going to um, switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint. So this is 480 pixels. And as you can see, we have um, different um, color applied to our font over here. Now I'm going to go ahead to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. And as you can see, when we switch to our 320 pixels breakpoint, we have different font type and different size and different color applied to our test. So those are the two main differences or two main ways you can use responsive test. Well, if you may ask which way you should go about, I think you should consider so many things before selecting the appropriate one you may be using in your project. This is Dabson Ishmael once again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.